De Canio has allowed Defoe to start all three of West Ham's opening games. After a subdued first half hour in this one, the 19-year-old turned in a decent but ultimately frustrating performance in front of the England coach, defeat that left him still looking for his first goal of the season. Oh, I trust uh, Sven when he uh, decides to uh, pick Jermaine. Um, myself personally, I, I still think you know he should be in his own age group uh, in the under-21s, but we'll have to wait and see. Defoe, a player the opposition manager knows well. The striker began his career under Alan Kerbishley at Charlton. I think it's too early. I think he, he needs to have a full season in the Premiership and, um, and then he'll be stronger after that and, and a lot wiser. So, I, you know, I'm not trying to... You know, it's not my concern, but I think it's a little bit too early. Kerbishley suggested his own Richard Rufus should receive the England call. The centre half involved in Charlton's opening goal from Klaus Jensen after only three and a half minutes. Rufus's central defensive colleague John Fortune scored his first Premiership goal shortly before the break to double their lead as Charlton claimed their second victory of the season. It was a great achievement for us, you know, to score my first Premiership goal at um, a club where I used to go to school right next to the ground, so um, it's a great, great day for us. That's Eight goals now conceded in the three matches so far. Are you worried about the fragility at the back? I've got to be concerned. I mean, we were excellent here uh, last season at home, although that's, you know, that counts for little now. We've got to uh, you know, get ourselves in order, um, get back on the training ground, keep working hard on uh, defending against set plays and, uh, and long balls into our box, generally speaking. Um, that's all you can do. West Ham's number nine might have to wait a little longer for his senior England call-up, but teammate Joe Cole's fine performance sure to have caught the eye of the watching Sven-Juran Eriksson.